my name is Wayne and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about, we're going to actually show you how to add a rear spoiler to your WWW uh, 2018 Mercedes-Benz S560. Um, if you notice some of the previous videos I did before I obtained this car was a WWW um, Mercedes S550 and the rear spoiler, if you notice, if you looked at some of the videos, the rear spoiler was on the car. Well, I added that uh, rear spoiler to the car and it didn't come with it. So you can do the same thing uh, for your car. So one of the things that you want to know about your car first and foremost is the color. You need to get the color code and the right color so you don't mix and match um, different stuff in your car and your car looks funny. So I'm going to go ahead and change views. We're going to go to the driver's side door and I'm going to show you where to get the color code and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and change views now. Alright, so we're going to open up the car door. And the color code is actually right there, 799. So if you want to know what 799 is, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look. We'll take a look at this paint scratch and see what it's actually called. And it's called Diamond White Tricoat 799 or 9799. Either number will get it. And um, all right, so I'm going to actually show you the spoiler that I ordered on the internet and you can see specifically it says W222 and the paint code is 799 and basically what we want is to make sure that the color of the car matches the spoiler. And one thing I want to point out to you, this red tape is here. This is actually a um, adhesive tape. An adhesive tape um, specifically for the car and let me show you what some of the, the things that adhesive tape can do. Actually, these lettering is what I put on the car. The car didn't come with it. So, little enhancement. This is actually an insert. And what's behind this insert is that red adhesive tape. And you probably want to do it when the weather's warm and the temperature is nice and, and um, you know, a little bit hot. We're going to do the same thing for the sport. We're going to go ahead and take it out of the bag and make sure that the color matches make sure that it actually looks right so let me go ahead and do that now all right so we have the tape actually out this is actually what it looked like and let's go ahead and take the spoiler out and as you can actually see the colors match all right and if you turn the spoiler over you notice it's black and there's holes in it now you can install the rear spoiler um, two different ways one you can drill a hole on your trunk but that that means you have to do a little bit more work which means you have to remove this underlying panel and um, you know for those of you who want to do that great and then the other way was how I installed it let's go ahead and just put this down and actually see what it looked like all right so this is basically how the spoiler is going to look like let me go ahead and take a step back and you can actually see how it enhances it all right so the way we um, put the car is how we're going to actually put this on the bottom and we want to make sure that the tip of this is also the same over, over here so what we're going to do we're going to mark it All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to mark the side with a pencil. So when we actually put this spoiler down, it looks great. Go ahead and go on this side. And we want to make sure when we actually put the spoiler down, when the water runs down, it's not getting underneath it and pulling the uh, tape up. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and mark it and you'll see how it, how it looks. All right, and if you can see where I marked it, it's there. And we'll come over here, and the same thing is going to be here. If you can see it, we actually come out, and there go the line. So it's going to mark up. So what we're going to do, we're going to flip this over, put it on the flat surface, and we're going to put the adhesive tape um, around it, and, um, and put it on. All right, so... Let's get started. All right, so if you can see the adhesive tape, and double side, you pull it, sticky in here, and then the red, if you pull the red, it's also sticky as well. So we're gonna put some 
all over make it make it look nice all right basically if you can see what I'm doing I'm using a tape and I'm using a line there's a, a, a slight line as a, as a guide I'm just gonna go ahead and and use that as a line and just um, make it look like make it look nice and straight and we want to try to um, take a look where the water might get underneath it and just improvise for that so we'll go ahead and we'll finish using the line as a reference and going all the way to the end all right and here we'll just we'll just cut it And what we're going to do, we're going to put one in the middle. And so when we push this down, it'll actually stick. So um, when I actually did the 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550, uh, that rear spoiler was on that car for a good four years. So this, this actually works. So let's put one more in the middle, and then we'll be finished. All right, if you're noticing, I'm putting this dead in the middle so at least we have we have all the contact areas of where the spoiler is going to land all right so we finished with the strip what we're going to do we're going to peel off the um, adhesive matter of fact let's take it along with this and just position it remember we're going to line this up with this this will be here we want to make sure we basically want to make sure that this is flat line this up with this okay make sure we have that gap there come over here make sure we have that gap there the gap is even on on both sides and let's just leave it and see what all right so so this is a flush fit and what we're gonna do we're gonna press down hard in the middle at the end and um, just back out a little bit you know what let me change the direction and so once I push um, the spoiler down that gap we should see right there it's gonna look there's gonna be no gap it will be like that so let's go ahead get started I'm gonna turn this thing back around bring it back over here peel the tape off we're gonna go ahead and press it down All right, so we have all the tape off. Everything's there. And here's paying close attention to, or close attention to detail um, is definitely needed. So we're gonna line up uh, both, one on this side, one on this side. We're not gonna really press down until actually both of them line up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do um, zoom back out and just use uh, two hands, one on each side of the spoiler to line them up and then I'm gonna push down. All right, so both sides right here, we have a gap on that side, we have a gap on that side. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push in in the front, and then I'm gonna push in in the back, and then I'm gonna push in towards the middle. And push in meaning like I'm actually gonna push it down enough where I'm actually pushing the car. So let's go ahead and do that. We can go ahead and push down. Push down the front, and then we're gonna push down towards the back. All right, and notice there's no gap. 
so when it rains or snows it's not getting underneath the spoiler and bringing it up and go ahead we'll keep pushing it down All right, let's take a look on this side. Look for the gap I showed you earlier and make sure there's none there. And that's for the rain. And that's basically it. And guess what? This will cost you several hundred dollars. Not, not only for if they have to order it, but for labor. And if they have to drill into it, they'll charge you for that too. And um, But this is just a, a nice way to... Um, add styling to your car. I'm gonna go out and just take a look at it. And everything here that you see, I've added. And so you can imagine if you want the chrome insert, these are insert. And guess what? Those inserts are held in by. They're held in by this. And I ordered those insert from the internet as well. So, and it has the same red back, and and you push it in, and it looks nice. Let me zoom out. All right, so you know you don't have to spend top dollar to make your car look nice. You can actually do it yourself. The rim is probably going to be the last thing I change on the car because you know, I I can't stand uh, these rims. But um, the same 20 inch, and I'll show you where to get that. Several spots where you can get it. But you know, make your car unique, make it alive. One of the things that I'm definitely going to do is a side molding which is here and I'm trying to find the right color I do see carbon fiber but I want to get um, either silver or gray so but that's just me but the car is starting to come alive and that's basically how you add a rear spoiler to your car and um, like I said you definitely want to know the color code and the color code I told you you get it from here which is uh, the 799 code that's the color of my car and um get the exact same color and it's and it looks very nice so um hopefully this helps someone out there um you don't have to join into your car if you don't want to and um you know that's basically it so like i always say subscribe and like and i'll talk to you soon